Okay, y'all, it's me again. Coming for you again with another video. This time, it's time for a rant. Not a rant, but this really hurt me. Because, really, I have no words for what I just watched on Facebook. Basically, if you know about BuzzFeed, BuzzFeed put out all these videos about different stuff, but this one right here hits home. Because it said things black men are tired of, of hearing. And, and I'm like right with them. Because we have the biggest stereotype ever about a black man. Keep in mind, I'm 26 years old. Keep in mind, I'm not a thug, not drug, not a drug dealer, not a rapper. I'm not a basketball player, not a football player. I'm not a celebrity. Not, not trying to say, you know, it's a negative, not trying to do some negative things, but let's focus, because uh, some of these ball players, you know, I'll just say it, some don't really give us the role models we need to have. Some do. Some black, black ball players do. Some ball, black ball players don't. Not really good on the ball play. But, let's the negative is what I really want to get on now. Because this, this, this is the stereotype that, that I had to confront. Like, and I, and I brought it down. Because I really couldn't. Because I really sat there and explain myself. But you know what? I am. Born and raised in South Carolina. Really didn't do much. Went to church almost every, every time I had, almost every time I wanted to. Back in the day, it had to because my grandma had to wake me up every every Sunday morning to go to church. But now it's like I want to go to church. I want to be filled by the Holy Ghost, filled by the Holy Spirit, and I want to experience God's favor on my life. I've been, I haven't been in jail. I um, graduated. It'll be. Th it'll be two. It'll be two. It'll be two years this this coming May. It'll be three. It'll be, it'll be three years. Basically, it'll be three years graduating. Graduated three years since I've been out of school. Never really got into very much trouble. Like I said, never really been to jail. But yet, society is still waiting for a fellow black man that's not successful. That's not got millions and billions of dollars because I don't have the money like a Michael Jordan or or a ball player does. So where does that leave me? If I'm not an athlete, if if I'm not running a business, or if I'm not do well, I do run a business, Beachbody. Shout out to Beachbody. But But if I'm not really making that moolah, that better, that team, really, that puts me in the in the, in the same ballpark. As like, oh, it's only a matter of time before he sells out and and goes back and goes to a life of mediocrity and says, you know what, I'm not getting nothing, so I gotta make this money any way I can. So I'm gonna be a drug dealer. Or I'm gonna be you know, I'm going to be a whatever I can be to get this money. But it's not only, uh, but that is not who I am. I am a scholar, believe it or not. Even though my GPA does not reflect who I am intelligently. GPAs ain't got nothing to do with it. Because let me tell you something. Before long, they'll tell you. If you've been in, you've been in school for almost four, four years, they'll tell you do what you can and finish. You get out there, you bust your butt, and you finish. So 
to get the stats. Because I'm, because I'm not lazy. Like the video said, I'm not lazy. I'm out there. Being compassionate, showing love to my fellow man. I'm out there do, and doing what, what what I can as a black man, encouraging every and anybody that I can. Doing what I'm supposed to do, my God-given talent, my God-given gift. That's what makes me who I am. If you want to know, I'll take it a step further. They say we're not lazy. We're intelligent. We're compassionate. Let me take it a step further, folks. You want to know who I am? Really? If you don't, if you haven't noticed by the videos I'm doing, you can figure it out. For those of you that don't know, let me spell it out for you. I am a servant of the living God. I am a child of God. You know, in my church, working hard. Those titles don't mean a thing. Yes, you. Yes, I'm a Sunday school teacher. Yes, I'm a praise and worship leader. Yes, I'm on the youth committee. Yes, I'm on the male choir. Yes, I'm on the on on the on the mass choir. Yes, I'm on the adult choir. Those ti those titles don't mean a thing. Those titles don't mean a thing. Because you can have these titles and you can act like you so high up there because you got the, the title of Sunday school, Sunday school teacher or praise and worship leader. You can let that jump through your head if you want to, but I promise you, you won't be able to be used effectively by God if you if you so trying to be like, I, 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 like, like, I'm trying to do the best job I can so that the church can get the best job I can so I can feel good about myself so that because I got the church to hoop and holler. If it's all about that, if I'm trying to be like this person that's shouting and praising and, and quoting scriptures just so that I can feel good, so that I can feel great, that means I'm not doing anything for God. What I'm doing is just, what I'm doing is just, it's all about me. How Tashawn can get the glory. How Tashawn can get the praise. How Tashawn. Can be a almighty. But that's not the point. We are who we are because we're humble. Because we know it takes it takes someone higher than us to to be the men to be the black man that we supposed to be. Because if we didn't, we'd be led astray by the devil, and that is why that is where they get the stereotypes from. Because these young men did not have were probably may may did or may or may not have. The strong black role model that we need to have in this young society to prosper. Some of us did have those role models. And some of them we do go on to lead lives. It may not be as glamorous. It may not be as fabulous. It may not be as big as the lives of these ball players and these and these. Of the or these other or these other businesses working hard for themselves and creating these businesses, their life may not be as glamorous as that. But I guarantee, if you put a little bit of hard work and a, and a little bit of elbow grease, you will feel just as successful if you working hard for your family, your wife, your kids, yourself. If you all about the uplifting of man. And the and the and the betterment of self in in the right way, that's who you are. 
because some of us don't buy into the drug dealers. Some of us don't buy into all hopeless law. Some of us, we find a way to make it out. We push, we pull, we do whatever we got to do to make it out of the street. I made it out of my community. Ain't had a charge on me. Made it out at the at the at the age of eighteen. Going to classroom. Got my degree. Made it out. Yes, I'm in a rut right now, but I promise you, that is not where I sit down, lay down, and die. Because I will find a way to get back on my feet. These are the moments we find out who you are as a black man. These are the moments. You can either lay down and die and go and, and find an easy way out, or you when you put on your sneakers and you and you get back and you get back on the ground and you and you and you push and you pull and you prod until you get back to where you once were. That is who I am. A black man trying to survive. A black man that not is trying to survive, not trying to survive. I will survive. I will prosper, and I will be okay. I'll be better than okay. I'll be fine because of the God that I serve. That's who I am.